On this episode of the Social Plug Culture Corner, we take a look at a famous Fijian folk tale, the shark and the octopus. In the olden times, gods used to guard the land and the sea. Ndakuwanga, the great shark, was one such very powerful god. His power over the minds of the people was very great, for they respected and feared him. I am the great Ndakuwanga. I have never been beaten in combat, he boasted. I have conquered the sea eel god at the Rewa Channel. I have also defeated Maselava, a god in the form of a man at the Yanuza Channel. Indeed, he and I are now close friends. I am the great Ndakuwanga. I am the unbeaten one. Upon hearing this, Maselava, the man god at the Yanuza Channel, asked, Have you challenged the god of the reef passages of the island of Kandavu? Without answering, Ndakuwanga turned and swam southward to Kandavu to the Naingoro Passage in the reef. The watchman was absent. He then went on to the Vesi Passage, and near the passage on land he found a god also in the form of a man. I am Tui Vesi, the guardian of the Vesi tree. My work is more important than yours. I would gladly join in battle with you, but I cannot leave the land, nor you the sea. Yet if you go further down the coast, you will find a reef guardian who will prove worthy of your attention. The guard at the Naveva Passage on the south coast of Kandavu is an octopus. You'll find him hard to conquer. His name is Rokombaka Niveva. Before you come to that channel or passage, you will see an imprint of an octopus on a rock at a point opposite the channel. Ndakuwanga went on down the coast, and before he entered the channel, he gave warning. Make way at the passage. The octopus replied, No, I am the barrier past which no one may pass without my permission. Ndakuwanga shouted, Very well, we will fight. The octopus let four of its great tentacles grasp the biggest rock at the bottom of the sea, and he stretched the other four to the surface. At that very moment, Ndakuwanga was shooting his way through the passage, and immediately the octopus grasped Ndakuwanga with his four upper limbs. Then he loosened his four lower arms from the rock, and all the great tentacles encircled the body of Ndakuwanga, the shark god. From the tip of his tail to his head, he was embraced by the octopus, with only his mouth free of the enemy's arms. Ndakuwanga's big, ugly mouth peeped out from the embrace of the octopus. Never will you see your friends again, said the octopus. This is the day of your doom. Free me, and we too shall make a pack, Ndakuwanga replied. It is well known that I, the shark, am the terror of all shipwrecked people. Free me from your tentacles, and I vow that your people of this district of Nadeva in Kandavu never need fear me. And so it came to pass. To this day, it is said that the Nadeva people are never attacked by sharks when they are shipwrecked. The great shark god, ruler of all sharks, protects them. And a bond of friendship still exists between the people of Nadeva, Rokombakanideva's people, and Taviuri, the land of Ndakuwanga. And if you're ever passing through the Naveva Passage, the imprint of the octopus is still there on the rock for all to see. Social Plug Fiji. Click on the subscribe button to stay up to date on all our latest videos.